Hey everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. For this video, what I want to talk about is the exercise of lunges. So when I talk about lunges, I think they're a great exercise as part of either your prehab before surgery or your recovery and rehab after surgery. And the reason is they're a great exercise for building strength throughout your legs. So you're able to build strength in your quadricep muscles of your thigh. You're also able to build strength in your glutes. And it's a good, what we call a unilateral exercise. So a squat, we'd call a bilateral exercise. You're moving both legs um, in the same motion. With a lunge, you're focusing on one leg at a time. So a lot of people, when it comes to strengthening the quadriceps and strengthening exercises after surgery or before surgery, they really tend to focus on non-weight bearing exercises. So things like seated knee extensions, quad sets, straight leg raises. Now these are all okay exercises to perform and are activating your, the muscles that we want to strengthen. But I prefer transitioning to weight bearing type exercises as quickly as possible. Some of the benefits of weight bearing is one, you, in addition to the strengthening, you're strengthening not just one muscle group, but multiple muscle groups. You're also doing weight bearing movements that are very functional and typical of what you might have to deal with in your day-to-day -day life and activities. It also gives you that weight bearing through the bones and the joint, which is going to help improve your bone mineral density, which is good for the stability of the joint in the long term. So I'm a big fan of weight bearing exercises. Some people, when they hear about lunges, they get a little freaked out because they think of doing a complete deep lunge all the way down. So for example, lunging all the way down, touching the knee to the ground and coming back up. But the good thing with lunges is we can modify that so that you can start to get the benefits of the strengthening and the exercise without having to bend all the way down and being in a position where you might not feel comfortable yet. So for example, the easiest way to modify that is just doing a partial lunge. So basically, go down as far as you feel comfortable and then stop and come back up. This may be 50% of a typical lunge. It may be just a quarter of it. Whatever you feel comfortable with, just go to that far to start. Another thing is people might have some difficulty with the balance. And so typically I'll have people start, hold on to a chair, hold on to a counter or a surface that is stable and get into that lunge position and just do the lunges holding on to the chair for stability. A couple of things to keep in mind is I would recommend performing them on both sides. You want to have both the surgical leg build up strength, but you also want to keep good strength in the non-surgical leg. And of course, if you have bilateral knee replacement, it's important to have strength in both sides there as well. I would also think about having a good upright posture as you lunge. So you don't want to lean forward like this and curl the back. You want a good kind of a staggered stance, toes pointing forward, and you're just coming down as far as you're comfortable with. You can let that back heel lift off the floor as you come down. And just get comfortable doing a lunge type movement. If it's holding on to a chair or a stable surface, if that's doing a partial lunge, that's perfectly all right because you're still getting many of the same benefits of doing a full um, body weight lunge. And of course, as you get more comfortable, it's great to transition. And if you can get to the point where you can do a full lunge all the way up and down, then you're really doing really well and you're on the right track. And then we can start to incorporate some different variations of lunges, such as reverse lunges, side lunges, and things of that nature, which is both fun and a good challenge for your body and your strength. 